history of uh, free speech, I'm talking from a feminist perspective, it seems to me that there was a big struggle to get away from this hierarchy that you were reconstructing of political speech and other kinds of speech and political speech is about uh, 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 the, the, uh, the democratic uh, uh, and so forth. And the whole idea of the personal is political and what you decide is political is very much putting us outside of this and putting into it many different things. This was a, a struggle to expand political. And now you are coming back to narrowing it. What will happen to all these struggles that uh, were it's so hard won? It, it's so interesting. When I was growing up, it was the personal is political, exactly as you say. But you know, I, I don't, I'm going to repeat something I said yesterday. So every free speech system that I know of divides speech into the public and the private and it privileges the public and it allows regulation in exactly the terms you're describing to preserve personal dignity and respect in the private. And that's true now of people, uh, you know, of most feminine, like revenge porn, et cetera, et cetera, we're gonna regulate. But if the personal were political, you wouldn't be able to do that. Mm -hmm. So what's interesting is we are at the political, we discover we don't wanna be political because being political is being stripped of a certain kind of dignity mm -hmm. and exposed uh, and we actually want and like the protections of it. So there was a moment, sort of the reaction against walls, where we wanted to bring the political into the family, mm -hmm. and then you know, we begin to see the implications of making it political, not so attractive in well, so many dimensions. We can say that we are back into a much more religious type of uh, you know, uh, uh, um, restriction over a truth, and that's a different kind of feminism. But the feminism that is very much afraid of every... Or, or we could say we're changing the content of the private. Yeah. We could say now we have a different kind of family law, but we still need family law versus public law. Right? I think that's what happened dialectically speaking. Mm -hmm. I think the so, law regulating the family and personal relations change, become more gender neutral or whatever, mm -hmm. maybe not enough. But the move to make it political, that, uh, that has consequences I don't think which we're fully focused. Okay, thank you so much for <laughs> <laughs>